Y'all ever got vibe checked by a dragon? Well, that happened last episode, so you guys should take a look at that. Hello, everybody. My name is David. You can call me Zen, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Arise. In the previous episode, we started entering this region of Elden Manasea. We got introduced to a battle chaining mechanic, which ended up with a giant Zoogle fight where I fought a dragon that I didn't know that I was going to spawn. And I'm surprised we won, but we have quite literally no supplies left. This time, we are probably going to make our way to the capital city, but I still do want to do some more chain battles. But I understand that that is possibly not in my best interest at the moment. So we're just going to do a little bit of kind of like side exploring, kind of get some minerals and everything just to make sure that we are still kind of good on that front. And plus, um, this also just means that we get more fast travel points in the future. All right, let's see. And if we and if we can get more like fast travel areas, I figure that. Oh, I heard something growling at me and I was like, huh? But if Hoodle senses one of his. F oh, I thought he sensed it like right here. It's probably further into the region, but I don't want to like. Walk out and explore too far just because I do want to at least get to the city this time. I say both of their little interactions are so adorable to say the very least, but I imagine that because of the way that this area is set up, it wouldn't. Uh, all right, all right, guys, Zay is, I, I can't even finish my like commentary statement. A boy can't, can't just do like a little bit of exploration. Okay, I see the owl, but let me go ahead and do this battle first. So you guys didn't see the battle, but I just want y'all to know that I honestly, that was probably the best I've played this game in like quite some time. And so I'm, I'm a happy camper. And not only did we just get 10 tomatoes, we have more. That's 13 tomatoes and an owl. I'm, I'm liking this little like scavenger hunt side kind of type of like side quest thing. But I think we already got all the um, owls in this little mini area for right now. Let's I'll say let's not get hit by the mobs over there. And maybe maybe just maybe we'll finally get over there. I see like there's a whole bunch of like alternate paths and such. So I'm always thinking like, why don't we just go and take the road less traveled before we actually get to where. Get to where we're supposed to. But the main city's already almost like right there. So I don't see a reason why we can't, you know, do a little sidetracking. There's there is going to be some main story progression. But, you know, after that dragon, I don't why I do want to fight more mobs. I'm also like. Not hurting to just ignore them. And, you know, if I had this mob up in the air for like a little bit, I probably could have used a better um, instance of Luna Rondo. I'm starting to hurt for the fact that I haven't been learning Infernal Blade arts, but it's okay, I think. Ooh, Alfin leveled up is what I'm guessing that statement was supposed to imply. Um, I don't know what it means by shiny enemies, so I just kind of... Oh, okay, I guess. Sure, you can use your mystic art. Kind of seemed a little random that you just got it out of the blue, but. Well, 
All right. I thought that there was going to be thought there was going to be something more going on there, but I guess not. Okay, because I like tempting fate. Hold on. Let's get the chain bonus up. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Ooh, a new thingy for Shion, okay. Oh, she finally has counter rich. That's so awkward. Okay, so gonna work on the improved healing guards for her. Um, let's see. I think for when well, I'll actually work on this uh, port of tree because she can learn stuff like sharpness. And I think, I think that's fine. Okay, so anyway, though, I want you guys to know just a little small detail that this is actually the following day from the last video that I recorded, mainly because I was going to record two videos, but I was so insanely like sleep deprived at, um, at a point that I was just kind of like, Let's let's record the following video for tomorrow for tomorrow because I cannot think correct. Uh, I cannot think clearly at the moment. Which I think was the right call to make because I wasn't sure how my. Um, I'll secret behind a waterfall. Love it. Uh, I wasn't sure how my commentary was going to be affected by the fact that I was just operating on just very low sleep. And I want to make sure that normally whenever I do the recordings and maybe um, and also streams that I'm at least in as close enough of a shape as I can to being like relatively well off, you know. And let's go ahead and heal this guy because there are so many just random strangers on the road. I wonder if there's a trophy for eventually just healing like every like person that we come across. Because I want you guys to know that I am aiming to do the right thing. More often than not, at least. And maybe someday in a game where I can be evil, maybe, maybe that might be a fun little 
little side experiment to do like you know how in the mass effect games how you have like the paragon route and the renegade route and so you can choose to be evil at your own discretion basically and it looks like okay these are cows i thought they were zoogles for a second i was like what are these weird black and white looking zoogles look at look at these cows can we all right got some milk there you don't have milk on you and you're just a little guy um hello sir are you okay um all right well i guess i already said what i was gonna say if if i was okay i wouldn't be lying here now would i yeah just about well at any rate i can't move maybe this is some sort of sign say kid mind helping this old geezer out sure why not what do you have in mind i was hoping you could bring me back to my home oh that's it i can do that we were just heading towards no not that way my house is in the opposite direction of the city it is oh well well we've come this far i guess i'll have to get you back home nice to know there's some good souls in this trying times i see a lot of promise in you kid yeah i'm nothing special just try my best old man i should mention my back hurts too can i ask you to carry me as well how far back are, are we talking i don't mind his house being in the opposite direction of the city but how far back were we talking Ugh. Ugh. what tired already i expected better from you still i appreciate it kid if you hadn't come along i'd been zoogle food before long don't mention it still you're heavier than you look what the heck do you eat old timer aha good question name's bogdal i run the, this this year ranch which always keeps the old son full of nothing else what are you doing in a place like this technically i'm under orders from the reina seeing as they can't do a damn thing by themselves Point being, folks like me are the ones who supply food everyone eats, both Danons and Renans alike. Anyway, I owe you a little something for helping me get back here in one piece. You don't have to do that, it's fine. Oh, hush. I just need to figure out what. I don't got a lot to spare around here, I know. You can make use of this here ranch as much as you like. The livestock here will be all yours. Heck, I'll even help look after him. How does that sound? That's nice of you to offer, but I don't know the first thing about raising animals. You'll be fine, trust me. You've got the face animals love. I'm sure it's a good care of them. Is this really happening? Nice. Okay. So now we have a ranch. And if we take care of the ranch, we can get more ingredients to cook. And Law got... <coughs> I don't even know how to like comment on law getting like this as a potential side quest. All right, so let me, I guess, send a chicken. I feel like there's truly no reason for me to not. I'll do one of each. I'll say there's truly not a reason for me to not use the um, like the highest tier food. So I'm glad that we have access to this ranch, but where did that put me, bro? This put me in a whole different spot. But I guess I guess it's fine. It's fine. I just need to know where I am relative to where I just was. Oh. Oh, I wasn't even that far. Sweet. Oh, I thought I thought the friend was like right here. What? Why? I think this is a cool little area, mind you, but oh. Oh, you're in I see I see you. Wait, no, are you the owl? Yes, you are. I feel like I've been doing a good job of finding a lot of these owls, by the way. 
But we're at 15. We'll check the forest out eventually, Rin. Well, we still we still need to get into the capital. We spent the first 15 minutes of this um well, 15, potentially like 10 minutes of this video, literally anywhere but the capital. So let's let's finally get in there. Let's let's continue the story of the game. As soon as it loads. This seems like a much different atmosphere than the past two regions that we've been in. So that's that's the one thing that's been concerning to me. So everyone here is living a good life. And if we take out the like. Ren and Lord in charge, then. What's going to happen? Yeah, we're in Vicent now. But we also know that the Lord is responsible for the weird overgrowth. Are they? Yes. That's fair. Okay, hypothetically. This is giving mass hypnotism. I don't buy it. After after the last region, I don't I don't trust nobody. She owns right. The, you agreed to take out all the lords. I realize that you guys might have been able to hear that. I was just clapping with my feet. All right. A uh, strange society. That's okay. So laws carrying my same suspicions. All right. So we do have a couple of areas that we can investigate. We do also have a couple of side quests here. We have a lot of different people. We can ask a whole lot of different things. It's a city of coexistence after all. So let's just in case. Yes, we can, Xion. I don't want to hear it. Excuse me, sir. You appear to be a stranger out to these parts, yes? Yeah, we came from out of town. Why? I apologize for the sudden proposition, but you wouldn't happen to have any granite fangs on your person by any chance, would you? They come from the tusks of the boar zoogles that you can find outside of town. You're looking for zoogle tusks. How come? To make weapons out of them? Oh, nothing like that. You see, the tusks change color when they detect poison. 
eating utensils made from those tusks are quite popular at the Adelina Palace, so I was hoping to stock up on more of them. What? Is someone worried about their being poisoned? Rand is a society that respects its hierarchy. It's hard for me to imagine anyone actually trying to poison a noble. Likewise, I've never heard of such a thing take place. However, it's tradition at the palace to offer tusks as something as a curio. I tried to ask the guardsmen for their assistance, but they have fortunately appeared to be occupied with more pressing matters. Hence, if you happen to have any granite fangs, I ask you hand me four of them. We probably have four. Alright, now, more utensils, yay, sorry. Oh, you're the one who makes them, huh? Mind if I watch you do that sometime? If you're okay with an audience, that is. Of course, please feel free to visit me whenever you have a moment to spare. I'd, I'd love it if you could also maybe turn those tusks into a wet alfin. Never mind, I think we're going to head out now. Very well, I thank you again for your generosity. We're getting our money back up already. <laughs> so, the people with stars are, I imagine, are the ones that we got to talk to, but I think I want to try to... I was going to say try to knock out these side quests, but... You know, I can't do that. <laughs> I tell you, you folks are all travelers. It's so wonderful to have you all here. You really don't bat an eye at all. At all. You really don't bat an eye at us all being together, do you? Even though we have a Renan with us. Are you surprised? I suppose it might not be a common sight elsewhere on Dana, but here in Vicent, um, it's a part of every day in life. Hey, if we want to visit uh, the palace, do we keep going this way? Yes, that's exactly right. Although, if, if you ask me, the training grounds might be more up your alley since you all appear to be of that persuasion. Oh, is this where the Coliseum is? Every Tales game has a Coliseum. Training grounds, you say? Is that code for some kind of arena where you make strangers fight and kill one another for sports? Oh no, absolutely not. It's nothing terrible like that. The training grounds are what they sound like. It's true that years ago, it used to be a really gruesome place where slaves had to fight each other as well as vicious zoogles. But when our lord, um, Lord uh, Dahlim, came to power, one of the very first things he did was put a stop to such an awful spectacle. You're telling me a Renan lord did that. The place was then refurnished and reopened as a proper place to train like it's known for these days. It's mainly designed to be used as the, um, by the Elda Manasea Guard, but it's open to anyone who wishes to use its facilities. Anyone. Even Danans? Of course, the arena is far too punishing for me, but if you're looking to hone your skills, I'd recommend you pay a visit. All right, training grounds. That wasn't the side quest I was initially, like, expecting, but I won't let that stop me from greatness later. I gather you guys came here along the highway, yeah? You didn't have to run in, happen to run into that thing along the way, did you? What thing? I'm talking about the huge Zoogle that flies around the skies, occasionally dropping down to attack both people and Zoogles alike. It attacks even Zoogles? Now that's something you don't meet every day. Yeah, this guy's really something. Even the uniforms tier have a hard time dealing with it. Normally, I'd, it'll leave you alone, but if it sees a fight break out, that's when it swoops in to cause trouble. Huh? Hey, didn't we already beat something like that earlier? Last episode, when I got vibe checked! Last episode. <laughs> Yeah, I remember us encountering a Zoogle that went after everything. What? You already killed it? Leaving to the Blazing Sword and his party to make quick work of it, I guess. In that case, this bounty here is all yours. Go on, take it. Haha, now I wish there were more Zoogles with big bounties attached for us to get rid of. I am sure if you ever did something bad, you'd get a huge bounty on your head real quick, quick, quick kid. If that ever happens, I'll take responsibility and bring him down myself. We can send the money to whoever ends, he ends up causing trouble. Stop acting like I'm going to turn into a criminal! Well, anyway, because of you folks, the highway is that much safer to diverse now, so thanks. All the money that I lost, we're getting back. And not the bounty hunter for law. That's so funny. I actually don't know what I want to work on for law next, actually. But I'm going to take the lower awakening requirement. He might actually become a very powerful just team member. All right, we have one more side quest to go to, and I'm guessing the training grounds is down one of these holes. But I was going to say, everything is this is definitely one of those regions where it looks 
too peaceful. All right, let's see. Ugh. Ugh. Hey, are you okay? Wait, you're the foodie we ran into earlier, aren't you? Oh, why, hello there, Blazing Sword. I haven't seen you since you were since we were in Cislodia. Needless to say, I'm hungry. Again? Law, give the man some of the mushrooms that you just picked. Gah, you never learn anything, do you? Just what sort of wretched fungus are you trying to stuff down my throat? I don't know. I think they're pretty good. I wish I shared your unfounded courage, my boy. Anyway, that's besides the point. I'm here in Vincent on important business. Through careful investigation and some sneaking around, I've acquired a top secret recipe from none other than the palace itself. However, I'm short on ingredients. Can I ask you all to what I need to procure once more? But back up a little bit. What was that you said about sneaking around? Before I answer that, tell me. Do you enjoy meat? Hell yeah, I do. Who doesn't? Well, the recipe I pilfered is none other than for beef stew. A first-rate dish that's all about meat. So you did steal the recipe is what you're saying. So what if I did? Who cares? Now what do you say? Will you gather what I need or not? Alfin, I'm pretty sure this guy's breaking the law. Eh, he only uncovered a recipe for the palace. I don't think that quite makes him a criminal. Precisely. I simply took what I learned from those snake eyes um, I saw in Cislodia and put it to use in the name of fine cuisine. Am I really hearing this? What I need is meat and potatoes, as well as mushrooms and tomatoes. That rhymed. You'll get those for me, won't you? We'll see what we can do. From what I heard, there's a ranch somewhere in Elden Manicea. Let's you should see what you can find there. If you already know there's a ranch there, why don't you just visit it yourself? Because I can't really try to sneak off with a cow all on my own, can I? Who said anything about stealing a cow? I'm kidding, boy. I'm really too hungry to be walking around right now. Don't take too long now. I'm surprised you didn't have all the ingredients. How much of each do I need for a beef stew? Hold on. I guess I should look at my ingredients. Um, where are my ingredients actually? Um, hello? So I have potato. Oh, I need one more beef. So I wonder if there's a shop here that has it. I guess we can head over to the inn and see. I guess I'll just meet you guys over there since it's a little bit of a long walk. You know, I say that out loud, but I think there's an owl in the vicinity. Um. Okay, wait. I sounded like it was coming. Oh, I found it. We should really head back to the owl for, for some time. I might do that as a part of the, the beginning of the next episode. All right, let's see if there's some beef around here. Oh, they don't sell meat at all. I love that for me. And by I love that for me, I mean I hate that for me. Well, I mean, this gives me as good as an opportunity as ever to just kind of quickly assess our inventory situation. Well, let's... I forgot where I can go find beef. I'm guessing that the boars might have it if I go and fight them. So I guess I'll meet you guys back here in a second.
All right, so I did not get that second piece of beef as quickly as I thought I was going to get it. So I think I'm just going to kind of put a little thumbtack on that side quest right now. So I think this would probably be as good a spot as any day. I'm going to end the video. So next time on Tales of Arise, right? You're going to be moving on and investigating the city even further, trying to figure out what the heck is going on. Anyways, let me put my hand down because I did this way too early. If you guys would like, please leave a like or a dislike or a comment. All those help the algorithm and gives me a direction on exactly what I need to do next in regards to making videos and everything. So I appreciate every single one of you guys and I'll see you all in the next one. All right. Have a good rest of your week. I'll see you guys next time.